Tonight, I'm going to a Dior dinner. Good morning, good morning. It is such a beautiful sunny day. We finally have sun in London and it's just heaven. I am finally in a dress with no coat. There is a bit of a breeze, so I probably should be wearing a coat, but screw that <laughs> because this is the first day I haven't felt like I needed one. So I'm wearing this beautiful little Muse and Mode dress, which has a ta-da thigh-high split. But it it is kind of like the I'll show you properly in a mirror. Today is a Wednesday. We wear pink kind of day, and that kind of basic no. <laughs> saying Wednesday we wear pink jokes. I'm going to go and meet Mimi for breakfast on Pavilion Road in Chelsea, which is literally the most popping road in Chelsea. Like, there is so many outdoor tables there. It's so amazing. Every time I'm there, I bump into people, which is actually really fun, like very social. I love being social. Well, and there's also loads of really cute men on that road. So, good time. I'm sat at Granger in the shade, waiting for Mimi. Look how beautiful Pavilion Road is. It goes all the way down, all the way to the other end. That it's Granger. So <laughs> it's so pretty having this gluten-free Ladna with Mimi. You see her looking so beautiful and tanned in her gorgeous dress. I love hanging out with Mimi because she is so uplifting and inspirational. We were talking all about self-sabotaging behaviors which was a very, very interesting conversation because she's listening to this book, which I'm actually gonna to download today, called The Big Leap. It's all about, well, I haven't actually listened to it. <laughs> she was telling me what it's about. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave a link to it down, but I'm gonna start, start it today. I'm actually just running home now to go and get my nails done. I love my nails right now, but the only issue is with tips. When they grow out, you get like quite a big gap. But anyway, maybe I'll even start listening to The Big Leap whilst I'm getting my nails done and then I can tell you what it's about without, with, with having actually listened to it. These are my nails right now, which I love. Like I love tips. Tips are my favorite. And I've kind of switched to like an oval shape. This ring, by the way, is Ren. I'm gonna link it down below because it comes as a pair as you can stack them together and wear them separately. They're so pretty. I think what I'm gonna do now is just have yellow tips just that color and i'm also not gonna have can you see i have like a milky color on my nails i'm not gonna do milky i think i'm just gonna have clear We're done i'm now going for a little meeting in the afternoon how pretty are the yellow tips i went for a more of a um pointed oval. This is what you do when you're a single Pringle <laughs> waiting <laughs> for someone to help you tan. Normally I tan my back myself and it's kind of okay, but we have a photo shoot. Ooh, there's my nipple. <laughs> we have a photo shoot tomorrow, so it needs to be like flowerless. So I've called in for backup, quite literal backup. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight I'm going to a Dior dinner, which is so crazy because I haven't been to a press dinner in so long, like over a year maybe. I went to a Dior lunch a couple of weeks ago that was only six people. I think there's around 20 people going tonight, wild. So I'm wearing a full Dior little look. Look how beautifully fitted this is. It's stunning. It is a tiny bit hot because it's a bit hot today, but by the time I get to dinner, hopefully there's aircon inside. Like, I feel like I'll be fine. Then I have this beautiful bobby bag on. Like, oh, this color is to die for. It's so beautiful. It's new, so it's like super, super smooth. I've got some jeans on and my Dior Jade Dior shoes. I have given the monkey a little, let me take this out of the way, a little treat for when I go to Dior dinner. He eats these so fast, so I need to leg it out the house because he eats them too quickly, don't you? Are you happy with that? You, look, if, as soon as I look at him, if he's eat, I can't look at him when he's eating them because he thinks I'm gonna take it away from him. I'm not, I'm not, baby, you can keep it, keep it. Are you happy now? No, I'm not gonna take it from you, I'm putting on my shoes. Are you happy now? Sorry I'm leaving you. I haven't left you in ages. I need to find a direct lift to the top floor. 
because that's where the restaurant is. I think it's somewhere here. Can you even hear me behind this mask? This is a Pangaea mask. And Hannah works for them. They don't actually do face masks, they just have them for employees. So I feel really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this lair. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Dior corridor, I love it. This is the rooftop view at Selfridges. This restaurant is incredible. There's a little Dior Vespa over there. Everything is totally Dior Riviera-fied. I literally just ran up to all the girls and just went, <laughs> She literally did. <laughs> so happy. Right, should we find where we're sitting? Look how incredible this is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So much energy, I love it. Love it. This is where we're sitting. Look how beautiful this restaurant is. This is actually taken over the rooftop of Selfridges until September. It is stunning that like you've got like Dior plates, Dior seats, it's just everything has been Diorified. Dior ceiling. First course has arrived, a little truffle, a little truffle, a lot of truffle moment with some asparagus. I'm just so happy right now, like the sun is out on the terrace. Victoria's fixing her lips because of mirror, like, have not changed. Times haven't changed. Like, Nick always does this thing with us, um, the beauty blender. It's not the top beauty blender, it's like the real techniques one. And you're always like, and I just haven't seen you do that in so long. My quirky thing. Yeah, like, you know, when you're around someone so much, you see all that little habit. I haven't seen you in little habit. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. Like, it's just so nice. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I see those little moments again. I'm so proud of them. It's so great. Um, I haven't actually shown you. I'm wearing a little. Dior Rose de Vaughan necklace and ring, which is so pretty. And Vic's also wearing the matching ring. Yeah, I am. Oh. Matching ring and the little um, Rose oh. de Vaughan bracelet moment. Stunning. Stunning. Vic doing what she does best. We've come to the shop. Babe, wow. I really like this t-shirt. Oh t my god, it's so pretty. That, I love that embroidered. Yeah, that is so nice. Stunning. Although I kind of have one a bit similar, but I don't have. Is that this. stunning? Yeah. Look at this. Do your paddles. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, what about, what about, what should we look at next? Oh, what about this? What about this? Look, can you see a little detail? And this, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I have a big one of this and then you can embroider your name on there. What else is there? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do we prefer green or do we prefer red? Green, red. I think I kind of prefer the lime, you know? Oh my gosh, there's like a little cafe area out here with the sunset happening over there. This is so pretty. Wow. I mean, could you just imagine this this setup in your garden? Yum. Pasta. Yes. I just couldn't get rid of it, so I'll just yeah. you know, join your incentive. <laughs> I'm telling Alex. I'm telling Alex. Normally, me and Alex gang up on me. Now, I don't have a psychic. I don't have my psychic. Next time we're away, Alex, I miss you. It's photo shoot day. I want to wear my sunglasses. Just, oh, yeah. Wear them. Wear them. It's sunny. We're not wearing coats. And the best thing about photo shoot days is I can rock up with no makeup and no hair and then just like not think about it like it's so weird because normally i have to factor in into my morning routine like okay it takes me like 45 minutes to do my hair and makeup let's say but then like when i'm not doing that i'm like oh my god i had so much time in the morning like it's so nice i would really like to see you do my routine in the morning <laughs> i mean my skincare is like Three, ridiculous yeah you take your but, skincare very seriously but my makeup is like i just had it oh my god did i bring the key thing i did so that's fine moment you know when you're leaving the house and you think that every two seconds you think of the things that you could have forgotten, that you could have forgotten yeah. yeah we're shooting some new things which are coming out on my birthday which is this friday the 11th of june the camera keeps falling but this is as i was saying this is kind of different to what we've done before because i feel like a lot of the stuff we've done before is like very stones and this has no stones it's all gold and silver it's, I'm curious to see what you think. Oh, the camera.
camera. There are five pieces, so it's like this. Oh, this oh my camera's God. so hard. You know what? I want to show you at the hotel goodbye. I've just arrived to the hotel and I am late already because everyone's ready and waiting for me. Let's do this. Mask is coming off. So we're in the Kodagan Hotel shooting and I'm gonna be wearing this incredible dress. Sorry, I just ate pop chips. <laughs> which is from Sally Bean Couture, which is so pretty. I haven't actually tried it on yet, so let's give this a go. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got very shy and quiet now that I started vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the pop chips. You're in. Thank you. Oh, it cute. It's awesome. a real life princess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Put this down, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my god. That's, that's such a beautiful <laughs> color on you. Dusty <laughs> purple. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, so nice. cool. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Quick stop for a little pokey bowl for lunch in my giant dress, which is very antisocial. I'm taking up so much room. We are about, I would say, two thirds of the way through the day. We maybe have a couple more looks to go through. So now I can show you, now that we're a bit more relaxed. I can show you a couple of sneak peeks that are coming out next week on my birthday on the 11th of June. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like I will probably on my Instagram, but I'm just showing you here. I mean this, these have two little hearts and then two little pink stones on them, they're so pretty! So <laughs> I said I wasn't going to go into too much detail, but that's as max detail as I'm going. That's like. But they're just really, really special. They're such great little chains. Oh, people are playing tennis. The sun is out. It is so, so glorious and amazing. Summer is, summer's just the best. Doing a little makeup changeover. This is one of my favorite palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Queen of Glow. This gold is the best, best gold. This is a full CT face. We're putting the Queen of Gold. The pigment of that gold. I know, it's that's, that's like, like my favorite. This is my view right now outside the Kadagan Belmont. I want to show you this hotel because it's so beautiful. It's right in the heart of Chelsea on Pont Street and that was the garden we were just shooting in and it has one of the best terraces. That's so gorgeous good morning everyone i ended up going out last night after having an amazing amazing shoot day my hair done my makeup was done and i was like i'm not letting this go to waste so i had my first night out in ages and i ended up on a dance floor on an actual dance floor that was a revelation that was it felt so good it felt so good so now i'm feeling a bit worse for wear this morning my eyes are puffy my face is tired so we're just gonna do some morning skincare. And then I have a couple of bikinis to show you. First things first, my Declure Facial Oil. This always makes me feel so good. So, so good in the mornings. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Little Luminate Eye Cream. I haven't washed my hair since the shoot because I kind of just like this messy vibe. I feel like it's quite cool and not very me. So I can kind of into it. I'm summer holiday planning at the moment, so I have a couple of new in bikinis from Revolve, which I can show you. I'm not entirely, totally crystal clear on my summer holiday plans, but I have a friend's wedding in July in Italy, and they postponed it for a year, and come rain or shine, we are going to go there, we are going to celebrate, <laughs> so that's the current plan. Even if, she, I was speaking to her the other day, and she said even if it was like 50 people, not however many or 30 whatever let me show you this bikini because this is the first one i thought this one was a really cute little lemon 
situation. I'm not huge into bikinis, as you guys know. I'm mixing it up for myself as of last year. I just started wearing bikinis. This one feels very secure on the boobs, and I'm really into yellow at the moment. Really into yellow. I feel like it's actually a really flattering color, especially it makes me look quite tanned. What do we think of this one? I feel like this is really sweet and super girly. If you're someone that doesn't like to show their boobs or kind of like hide their boobs a bit i feel like this would be quite good because i feel like the ruffles are quite distracting also i feel like the ruffles on the hips are quite flattering as well and this this v-shape really elongates the torso that's always something i look for in a in a bikini something that kind of has that v because if it's straight it's going to cut you off in a different way this is a beautiful broidery on glare's dress i find the shape of dress so flattering i find this square old school neckline super pretty and then the little sort of mermaid's tail i love that look i'll come in so you can see the little detail of the strap and also the broidery anglaise i don't think you could ever have enough broidery anglaise am i right white broidery anglaise no i have so many and i wear them all oh my gosh guys look at this top this is so sophisticated. I feel like this could be Amelia Wickstead or some sort of like really upper luxury brand. Look at these sleeves, like how they've made them where your arm doesn't actually go through what would be the hole. They've kind of made these amazing bubble sleeves with a really ruched detail and a gorgeous, gorgeous neckline where it kind of sits just on your shoulders. I feel like this is so sophisticated what do you think i'm kind of in love this top i wear so much in blue and i got the pink version because i wear the blue one so much it's just such a great throw on light kind of cardigan top but still feels really dressed up so when i want to wear a jumper and it's a bit chilly but i still want to look cute this is the perfect kind of combination it's also nicely low cut it's got a little bit of a lift at the bottom of it really sweet little sleeves too so we're now almost officially halfway through the year i feel like my birthday because it's my birthday's 11th of june it's always like that halfway through the year point where you're kind of it gets quite reflective maybe because it's my birthday maybe it's because it's halfway through the year but also maybe a bit of both and i kind of always end up sitting thinking like what's happened so far this year what do I want to happen the rest of this year and sometimes it can be an uncomfortable place to be but I always push myself to like feel uncomfortable in a way and like I feel like that's where growth happens that's where change happens that's where new directions happen and I feel like if I look back on my 28th year i'm gonna do a q a on my instagram stories because i feel like every year i like doing a q a before i have my birthday and then like i can do a q a on the past year it's definitely not what i thought would happen in the past year but it makes me so excited for what's going to happen in the next six months not that i have anything like i'm not like trying to hint at something like majorly exciting happening in my plans I have no plans and that's kind of what's so exciting. It used to make me really uncomfortable to sit in like a no plans kind of place. And I feel like COVID's done that to all of us. It's just been like, girl, peeps, you ain't got any plans. Like you ain't got plans for the next month now. So I feel like that learning to be comfortable with having no plans has made it so much more exciting. This is always when I come alive, when it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen. Like anything could be around the corner it's so cool i feel like that the most in summer i don't know why i feel like maybe i'm just out and about more when it's <laughs> sunny and stuff and i'm probably not making any sense but yeah i think what i'm gonna do this week maybe this weekend even is do a little q a about my 28th year before i turn 29 <laughs> 29 on friday is it friday friday monkey moo moo are you monkey moo moo you monkey moo moo. Did you entertain yourself very well yesterday while we were all on the shoot? He was so good because we were on the shoot so late and he only went out once that whole day and he was just so good. He kept himself busy, didn't you? Come here, didn't you? You were so good. And then when I got home, then I walked to you and you were just so happy. You were just so happy. He's always so happy. He's like always happy to see you. It's the best. It's actually the best. Anyway, I'm going to make my bed. I still haven't made it today. And I will see you next week with another vlog. I think I'm going to vlog my birthday 
and I'll show you everything for my birthday next week. Bye guys.